laps 94th minute in front of just shy of 1,400 Mansfield fans. That's a moment, surely, which is going to live with you forever. Yeah, uh, it's a moment I'll cherish, obviously. A uh, good moment for myself. I think it's the last time I've probably got a winner late, late on. So, But to be honest, the most important thing was just getting the three points at the end of the day. So, uh, it's crunch time in the season, so we need to just keep getting them points on the board. How pivotal could that result prove to be? Uh, yeah, obviously it's two extra points than what we would have had if it didn't go in. So, yeah, it could be pivotal. I haven't, I've literally come straight out to you guys, so I haven't seen the table. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we're in and around it now uh, with a few games in hand. So, fingers crossed. What did Nigel Clough say to the boys at half-time? Because at the end of the first half, he started really, really well, but dropped off once they scored the goal. What did he say to lift the lads at the break? Uh, it's just sort of get back to what we're good at and the boys on the pitch, we started the game well. I don't think it was a case of the whole first half was bad, I think. Uh, we started the game well and then it was just a matter of just get back in the game and obviously made the tactical switch, bringing Bowers on and then, yeah, I think it must have helped us. And of course, uh, it's your fourth consecutive away game as well. How much of a difference does that make when you seem to be constantly on the road? Yeah, I think uh, when you're playing, you probably don't even realise that that was a fourth consecutive. Um, I think we've got another one away, haven't we? So, yeah, uh, yeah. if you keep picking up points on the road, you've obviously got a chance and our home form has been quite good lately. So, yeah, hopefully if we keep picking points up on the road, then hopefully we can do the same at home. Now, we started the interview talking about that, that moment at the end. Just talk us through it from your perspective because it looked for a second like it might have gone in from Reese Oates. Yeah, to be fair, I thought it was going in and then obviously when it comes to the post and hit me and went in. Uh, my, my first thought was maybe I'm offside. I thought I must be offside, but I wasn't. And to be honest, I think I owed the lads that. I missed a few chances in the last last couple of games. So just buzzing I could get that goal for the lads. How much did you know about it? Or did you just literally feel the ball hit you and hit the back of the net? No, nah, I did know about it to be fair. I think as it come off, I think I sort of directed it with my leg. Uh, but yeah, it was a great strike from Oatsy. I thought it was going in from Oatsy, as I said, but yeah. Three points, all that matters. And of course, it was done in front of all of those Stags fans. What's it like as a player when you just see that away end and hear that noise erupt? Yeah, it's unreal to be fair. I think it's probably the best away following I've ever had in my career. Uh, quite, quite unbelievable. Sometimes you come away and you don't really know whether you're playing at home or away. They're so loud. And even when there's not loads of them, they're still really loud. So, yeah, proper thankful for the fans. And even when we went through a tough time, they stuck with us. So. We're hoping, as a squad, we can just deliver what they want. And of course, you had a, a little bit of a tough time in this run of away games with the two consecutive defeats, which you now obviously bounced back from. Do you think, in terms of looking at a season, that was probably the right time to have a mini blip because there's so many games to go to pull yourselves together? Uh, yeah, you could say that. But I think even when we, you say we had the blip, I think we conceded like a 90th minute and then... What was the other game that we lost? Paul Val, my, my fault to be fair. We, we, when it was 1-1, if I scored, and probably would have won that game as well. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we've had a, a, a blip as such. Just things haven't really gone our way sometimes, and just sometimes need a bit of luck as well. Like sometimes need that luck in games. And that could be the difference, can't it? Because I think Oldham fans will probably be very disappointed to go away with nothing this afternoon. Yeah. But you get that little bit of luck, and, and that can be the difference between finishing outside the playoffs and finishing in them. Definitely, yeah. Just. There is an element of luck to it, as you've seen today, obviously, on another day that hits the post and goes wherever or doesn't hit the post, you know, so, yeah, uh, just thankful it went in. Ten games to go now, starting with a trip to Hartlepool on uh, Tuesday night. What are you expecting from this final ten games? Because it's going to take hard work and determination to make sure that this is a historic end. Yeah, it's, we've just got to keep doing what we're doing. No point trying to change anything now. Uh, we're obviously doing OK at the minute, so no point trying to change what we're doing if I'm being honest so we're just trying to keep going and trying to keep get points on the board and for yourself hoping to get a little bit more game time maybe put yourself in Nigel Clough's thoughts for, for Tuesday night yeah obviously any player's going to say that but anybody who, anybody who actually wants to get promotion will tell you it doesn't doesn't really matter who's playing as long as the team out there can uh, get the result for the boys like they did today then that's all that matters and finally what's your message to that travelling Stags contingent tonight just shy of 1,400 who you can still hear them if you listen closely singing all the way back to Mansfield uh, just thank you for their support uh, not only this game but obviously the previous games and thank you in advance for the games they're going to come to next 10 games